Hey y'all. So I just wanted to jump on and give a quick tutorial of how I apply my Radiant Defense Perfecting Liquid. Um, this is for you gals out there who are using the same foundation as I do. Um, so I just wanted to let you know how I do it and um, if you have any questions about it, please feel free to send me a message. I'm not a professional YouTuber or videographer so this this is gonna be very basic simple I'm in my bedroom because right now this time of the day is the best lighting that I have um, so let's go ahead and get started so I have already applied my moisturizer um, any serums that I use I've applied those this morning and I have also applied this sunscreen it's the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy Botanical Sunscreen for face, and it is tinted slightly. It's not like a tinted moisturizer. It doesn't have that much tint. It's just basically has a little bit of tint to it so that you don't get the white cast. But I like this because to me, for me, it acts as a primer. It um, gives me some extra SPF, um, but it also acts as a primer. It gives my face a little bit of tackiness. And although it looks like my face is um, shiny, it's not definitely not greasy, um, but it does give a slight tackiness, which will, which will uh, give a great foundation for my foundation. Um, so like I said, I am using the Radiant Defense. So I shake it up, shake it really well. And then, I, I, pr I put a healthy amount, if you'll see, and then I use the, the brush, the Radiant Defense brush as well, and then I like to stipple or dab it on my face. I feel like when I try to buff, it actually buffs away some of the coverage. And um, the one really neat thing about this product is you can really wear it sheer, as sheer as you'd like, um, or you it's build, buildable. So today I'm gonna show you just a, I guess a normal everyday, not too sheer way to wear it. Um, but as you can see, you can already tell that it is really covered. I think you can tell, I hope you can tell with this lighting that it has really covered, but yet you can still see my skin underneath. You know, I do have some freckles, which I don't mind showing through. I do have some slight um, not, I guess more or more or less mild melasma on my cheek area, thanks to hormones and having babies and probably sun damage as well. Um, but this does a really good job in covering it, but not making my face look mask like. And, um, the finish is really natural and I really enjoy, uh, not necessarily a dewy, but definitely a glow. But I do have normal combination oily skin. Um, so right in my T-zone and my forehead, they, it does tend to get oily throughout the day and then around my mouth and sometimes my nose too. So I also bring it down on my neck. I really hope you can see. It's hard for me to tell, but this is just not building it up. Just regular coverage. And most days I used to, so I used to not, well, I went through a period of time where I wore a lot of foundation to try to cover up everything that was going on in my skin, whether it be, um, the occasional outbreak or the discoloration of my face, the dark circles. So I caked on the makeup and um, 
I realized that once, as soon as I got my skin in a better, healthy place, that the less makeup that I had to wear, and I had actually stopped wearing any sort of foundation or cover, if you will, base, um, because I, I found that when I did, it just didn't look natural, and um, it would break down around my nose and my face and just wouldn't last. So when I tried this product, uh, I get the best of having that this my skin tone is evened out um, but yet it still looks like skin I still have a glow and honestly I was just wearing concealer under my eyes with powder and then the rest of my makeup and I've gotten to such a good place with myself and my confidence that I'm no longer wearing any concealer under my eyes because as some of you all know that as we mature and get more wise um, the the skin around or underneath our eyes can become crepey and thin and when you pack on more the more products you pack on um, the more crepey and wise we look um, so I recently have um i'm filming something so can we talk later please someone had a very important question that she needed to ask me and i couldn't wait so as i was saying i have stopped wearing concealer under my eyes i do occasionally um but i've found that this gives me uh, the coverage of over those dark circles or the dark circles that i have under my eyes and then i just use uh, a lighter powder to to kind of make that lighter than the rest of my face so the powders that I use which you know they're just powders that I have on hand and they work well for me um, they are the Ben Nye uh, luxury powder in cameo and I mix that with the Ben Nye professional powder in super white because I am pretty pretty light-skinned um, so I'll just show you really quick how I do that. And I just use a, um, a beauty blender sponge. Any, any kind of beauty sponge will, will work. And then just put just a little bit, not too much. For you younger girls, you can bake the heck out of your eyes and, you know, no wrinkles. It'll look fabulous, but... For some of my fellow girls in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and yes, 70s and 80s, the, the less product, the better, I think. So really that's the only matte portion of my face. And then, you know, depending on your skin type, this foundation um, is very good for all skin types. Um, if I were going to be out in the sun, out in the heat, I probably would powder my whole face. Um, so you still can do that with whatever powder. I would recommend a loose powder, um, but I am gonna go do the rest of my makeup and come back and you can see the final results.